Welcome to day four of Vlogtober. I'm feeling a little bit fragile today. My um, my grandfather's not doing too well, so I'm just you know processing that and knowing that it will be time to say goodbye soon. So. I'm just taking it slow this morning. I have am yet to um, eat breakfast. I decided to pack some orders and so I'm just taking today quite slowly. Um, I will we will be working today here in my studio. Um, my colleague comes in to do some sewing for me. Um, so it'll be nice to have the company. At the moment the house is asleep so I'm the only one awake and it is I think 8.30 so I've just come into the um, studio and I'm just packaging up some orders. These are some of the handkerchiefs that are going out. Yeah so I'm just packaging quite a few hankies that are going out today so that makes me so happy and I'm so grateful. I really do love bringing you these vlogs. I fell in love with doing vlogs when I did a month in May this year. So I did Me Made May, um, a month of my handmade outfits. So if you want to check that out, you can find that. I will link it in the description um, box. I'd like to say a big thank you to Ali from This Little Wonderful Life. I am watching her vlogs this Vlogtober um, and I've watched her vlogs in previous um, months that she's vlogged. Um, yes, so if you are um, vlogging this month, please let me know. Please let me know your favourite channels because I would love to find more knitting, sewing, gardening um, channels to watch, especially when I'm sitting down ironing the handkerchiefs. I like to watch or listen to a podcast or something. And having a series like a vlog, a full month vlog series, is really uh, nice to listen to, to watch or listen to as well. So I'm not sure what today's vlog will look like. It'll probably just be some little snippets and that will be all. Yeah, as I said, I'm feeling feeling all the feelings um, right now. So yeah, I'm, I will just see how the next few days go and if they are just small little videos of little snippets of things that make me feel happy, then um, then that's what it will be. <laughs> I'm a bit well, a bit concerned about all this rain coming at the same time as coinciding with Charlotte and I going camping at a festival. I hope it just doesn't rain for the time that we set up our tent and then all is well. It can rain a bit after that, but oh, I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you have a beautiful day and enjoy all the little glimpses of footage that I filmed. <laughs> myself now and that is the washing machine telling me that it's finished 
<laughs> Sorry about that beeping. I worked this morning and um, my colleague came and did some sewing. And now I finished and I've had some lunch and my kids wanted to go to the social event on today, the Bush, Bush homeschool group. So I dropped them with a friend this morning and she's taken them along with her son and I'm sure they're having a ball. And now I'm finding myself in this nice quiet house and I'm making a list. And I have a question for all of you. Is there anybody out there who enjoys the packing of going away and then the unpacking of when you get home? It seems like when we were children, it was a joyous, happy, relaxing. I mean, I'm sure we didn't even think about it being relaxing, but everybody else did things, the things for you. And now as an adult and particularly as a parent preparing to go away on holiday, I do not enjoy it as much. Yeah. I just find myself writing heaps and heaps of lists and there's a pair of pants that Charlotte wants me to mend. And I still haven't cut out the fabric, let alone sew and the sun hat for Samuel's birthday. And I need to do some baking. I usually make a muesli bar slice for us to have as our breakfast. And then all we have to do is purchase lunch and dinner um, on the days that we're at the festival. So I have quite a few things to do, but I really just wanted to ask that question. Does anyone out there enjoy packing and unpacking from holidays? I like the middle bit, but I'd just like someone to come in and pack for me and unpack for me and do all of the cleaning, that too. For us here on this farm, we have people come stay and look after our animals. So I have to clean my house and make it presentable for someone who's coming to stay here. And it's nice to come home to a clean house, right? After you've been away on holiday, but just having some people come to stay and look after your place, just adds to even more, more items that you need to tick off your to-do list. Harry is eating food behind me and he's quite a noisy eater. Say hello to the people. We say hello to the people. Say hello to the people. Harry is our old eldest cat. He just turned, how old are you? How old are you, Harry? Are you four or five? I think you're four and he is big. He's a big, ginormous, huge, heavy cat. Ooh. And there's the washing machine again. I better go and hang that load. The messy part of wood fire ovens. again so yesterday we had one thing after the other happen after I got the phone call that my grandfather wasn't doing too well Latham took the tractor out to the paddock to take a bale of um, fetch out to um, the sheep and the tractor started sinking into the ground so we had to run off and rescue the tractor thankfully we did but I didn't manage to get the risotto done that I wanted to get done. We just had, well, thank goodness I'd made a huge batch of pasta sauce. We just had pasta with the sauce and grated cheese on top and that did dinner fine. But tonight I get to make the risotto, yay. So I will take you along with me um, in making this asparagus risotto. I have some of the leek from our garden and I will probably add in some parsley or parsley on top. Hmm. I'll see how I feel. Mm -hmm. 